Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are going to finish off the grand finals of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for you guys here on the stream before we continue on with Street Fighter Cross Tekken. We are going into the middle of this between Fnatic and Infrit, who are tied currently 1-1 in the first set. And Infrit is coming from losers. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So Infrit needs to win two sets, and right away Fnatic gets in there with that throw just to start the round. Had to go for a reset right there because of the bounce on the drones. But yep. Wow, that was a great block. By the way, SF Cross Tekken will come back. This is not the end. We just wanted to get make sure that we got some Marvel in here. Obviously, Marvel, a uh, huge fan favorite. Yeah. So everybody wants to see it. We got the grand finals for you. Oh, nice little mix-up there, but didn't quite get anything off of it. And now oh, he's picked him up, and he's got Nova. Oh, somehow they both got away. One but of the, the nice things for Magneto that, uh, you know, if you're doing a combo that involves an H, right. and, and it's that kind of situation, you might get a throw on the main character. The coolest thing about that was, since he was comboing Nova, he was hitting Nova, and then air through Sentinel, and the combo meter kept going. Yeah. Unfortunate for Fana uh, Fnatic, because it kept the damage scaling going, but... He's gonna put his opponent back into the corner. Oh, okay. Get that extra. Here comes Fnatic's fanciness here. Using the fact or that you lose the hit stun reduction. Nice, X-Factor to get that extra in there. And I like that he calls Magneto even. And actually, it might have been Magneto <laughs> that killed him right there. Yeah, I know. That actually might have been it. So Infrid immediately with the X-Factor. Nova yeah, would be a really dangerous uh, X-Factor level 3 anchor. It's really interesting. I mean, I was talking to Fnatic, and he told me, if you have all three of your characters and you've killed one of your opponent's characters, as soon as you hit the second character, X-Factor and finish them off. He said there's almost no logical reason not to. Oh, okay. Because the X-Factor isn't going to save you from their level three comeback. So, I suppose, yeah. you know, you're going to be better off trying to finish them off as fast as possible. That was an awesome punish. Exactly what he needed to do in that situation. The drone's coming in. Oh, he was just barely in range for that. Oh, using the... Oh, oh but it no. pushed him too far, so his fanciness is going to cost him a little. Infrit, I mean, he can't get hit by anything. Okay, there it was. Yeah. Nova always dangerous, but he could not take damage in any way. So now that means that Fnatic is up two games to one. This is tournament game? Yes, tournament game right now. For Fnatic. If Essent he wins this one, it's it. Search essentially tournament point. There we go. Oh yeah, we'll get those names. Yeah. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, so that pretty. was sick. He's changed it up a little bit. A little bit, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he got that forced ground bounce there on the... Fnatic Smart just flying away with Magneto. Wants to reset the situation, which he does, and now he can approach on his own terms if he wants to. Oh, oh yeah, does he have the robot? He does. Look oh, I don't know damage how much damage there. is up there. No. Oh, well, not to kill him. And oh, Nova's down too. Oh, he takes out Nova at the same time. So one character stands in between Fnatic and taking this whole tournament here. But it's Spencer, and it's a level three X Factor. Oops. Okay. Take get get rid of the time on that X Factor. It's not just for fanciness here. Oh, oh nice I counter. see. Yeah, definitely Spencer. Very dangerous as an anchor. You see why? Three hits. Now on Storm, if he gets a mix-up, he can kill her off too. Oh, he's being very patient about it. And so is Fnatic, of course. Now he sees the X-Factors off. He came in immediately when it when it ran out. And he's got two bars. Oh. Oh, got an air throw. Oh, Ooh. but missed the OTG. Ooh, that was huge And just miss. tried the bomber. Yeah, Fnatic that was a huge ranger. miss. He could have did so much damage to Storm. He might have even been able to kill Storm. Infrit, I mean, Spencer able to do tons of damage. That was an awesome time. He's going for Chip. Is it going to be enough? And here come the drones. He ducks right under. There it him, is. The Fnatic come out. taking it three games to one. Takes the whole tournament here at Wednesday Night Fights Arcade Edition. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Your champion is Fnatic. Second place, Infrit. Congratulations to Fnatic. Oh, oh this was the rematch finals. of winner's finals. Gotcha. Wow. Oh, yeah. So Infrit put Justin Wong into losers, and then Jint, our car mate on the way over here, eliminated, eliminated Justin Wong. Wow. Nicely done, John. Paradigm came on third place? Okay. I'm actually not familiar with Paradigm. What's going on, JP McDaniel? How's it going? Yeah, I know what you mean, man. I mean, I'm going to be up until probably, I don't know, what time is it now? It's one. I'll be up until about four tonight. Probably, yeah. Especially because we're going to be watching that Thursday night hype. You got it. From Guam. Twitch.tv slash Shado Gaming. There you go. Or YouTube.com slash Shado Gaming to check out the replays. 
Guam, USA, where America's salt begins. That's right. Good stuff to Guam. Promoting their scene Making like this. Happen. And you Ditto. know, a lot of the scenes that we've talked to, they all are streaming. You know, a lot of it's different all groups over are the streaming. Place. Yeah, there's That's streams the best thing. everywhere. If you, you, you can catch a stream from pretty much anywhere now, and that means that you can watch different styles and people who are using different characters and yeah. pretty much whatever kind of action you want to see nowadays, you can see. Yeah, and you know what the funniest thing was? I was talking to L.I. Joe about this, and he was just saying he loves the fact that when he comes out here, it's so different. The characters we play, yeah. the style we play. I mean, you think that all these top players are just doing the same things. It's not true at all. No. The different regions so different from each other. They really are. You know, they've, they've been brought together to some extent by things like YouTube and streaming and just the extra mobility that we have nowadays right. to go to different tournaments, but there is still a strong difference. And you can see them right now already talking smack to each other. Hey, Flo, 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 how easy is this going to be? It's really easy. He plays scrubby characters, according to Flo, so Flo can't be sure. Yeah. Oh, Snake Eyes eliminated in Long Island Ooh. Joe. Oh, winner of this place, Snake Eyes. And where is that in the tournament? Right. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay, so winner of this plays against Snake, Snake Eyes, Eyes in the loser semifinals. Then winner of that will play against Justin Wong in the losers finals, which will be a three out of five set. Winner of that earns the right to play against Alex Valle for the championship. Thanks, Never Salty, for yeah. watching this. Hey, I mean, that's, that that's awesome. It's already 4 a.m. for you. I know some places it's, you know, 8 a.m. I know, I know this is basically Thursday morning fights for some people. Right. <laughs> if so, dude, you are, you are mean, lucky. We had, a, we had a, a fellow over here from Australia. Uh-huh. I think it was Australian. He was telling us that he basically watches this and Big Two at uh, at work. He just has them on in the background while he's at work. It's that perfect so time cool. that it covers his entire work day. So it's either that or from Italy. I don't remember. It was one or the other. But oh, 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 yeah, right, right. No, I think it was the Australian dude. Was it Australia? Okay. I mean, that would okay. make more sense just considering time. Yeah, but I'm not smart enough to figure out how all that time stuff works. So. EG Flow and Complexity Cross counters Mike Ross. Mike Ross sticking with Zangief and Marduk and EG Flow starting out with Jin and Rufus. He played with Rufus earlier and uh, against a Geef and it didn't look that easy for him at the start. It was really Jin that did the job. So he's got to make this count if he can. Now Mike Ross really salty about losing to Alex Vi. I'm sure he wants that run back against Vi. But he's got a road ahead of him because like we said, after this comes Snake Eyes then Justin, and then Alex by Just goes for that raw launcher. It is invincible low, and it looked like like Flo is just gonna go for those uh, those raw lows. Ooh, damage! Boom, 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 uh! Right, and he goes for the fierce there. one to keep the opponent in mid-screen. Yeah, see what kind of pressure he gets. He's trying to find a way to tag out, and he gets it off of that anti-air fireball. Smart stuff. Oh, interesting. Ooh! Mike Ross is trying to jump away. Get away from me, Rufus. Oh, nice grab. It looked like he grabbed the leg as he extended for the dive kick. I was so sick looking. Nice damage here from Flo. Flip him over and turn him up. Oops. That jump medium kick is a really, really strong move from Marduk. Great cross up and it, and it hits low enough that it can be a problem immediately. Oh, nice ground bounce there, but he didn't c capitalize off of it. Marduk's got to get out of there, but then just gets hit by the overhead and you can see the expression oh. on Mike Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> nice, good stuff, Will. You know, I felt like uh, Mike Ross did really well in that match, it's just that he couldn't get his Marduk out in time. That was the major issue for him. But he does play like that a lot. Once he gets Marduk in, he sometimes has trouble getting them back out. Ow! Oh, nice. And that's only got one hit of that armor. In that sweep, so we can't do a quick rise. Oh, you see, Flo now is worried about doing the jumps. That's what that anti air grab did for Mike Ross in the first round. Now you can see lots more ground game action from Flo. Only right. jumping when he's close. Look Flo might not, uh, uh, Marduk might not be able to get out again. Uh, see, this is the time that he should see right there. He had three meters. I would have just did a cross assault. Yeah. 
and that would have made sure his character, none of his characters would have been punishable. You know, that would be a really smart move, man. But it looks like Mike Ross wasn't smart enough to figure that out. He just, dude. Hey, Mike. Mike. You did, you did, you did that wrong. Dude, he's you so didn't do it right. You didn't do it right, buddy. Maybe next time. Maybe actually, you know what? If, if you don't get it right now, there's no next time. You're out of the tournament. And we'll see you tomorrow. He doesn't want to hear this at all, does he? He doesn't want to hear our advice at all. It's hard for Geek to get over those by jumping. Yeah. They're just so wide. Try the high jump, maybe? Yeah, no, again, I mean, it's, yeah, he, he can. He just can't jump preemptively. Like, it's really easy for Jin to make Geek land on those. Still blows my mind that there's high jumping in this game. Yeah, that's in there. That's super jump. Nice damage by Marduk. Now, let's see if... Oh, that's oh, so, that was so tricky. Ambiguous. It is. Awesome. And I like him interrupting his own combo to go for that command throw. Catch him by surprise, getting good damage off that command throw. Ooh, punches him right in the face. Too far to link. Wow. Ooh. Look at all this neutral jumping from Mike. Yeah, Mike had a chance for a combo after that jump medium kick. Just didn't see it enough. He didn't see it in time. Okay, that normal throw. <laughs> Again, he's not getting Marduk out. I feel like that's a problem for him. Yeah, he's gonna get opened up here. Hit right here. He's gonna switch towards Messiah. Kick! Oh, he lives! Cross rush, cross assault! Just get him out! Just cross hard, assault! Do something, hard tag or cross assault! Okay, fine. Oh. He, he, he knew he was gonna take damage. And I guess he didn't wanna spend the meter. Yeah, I guess so. But look at this now. Look how much wow. time and health Zangief has lost. The way too much to do anything. Just yeah. you know what? If I if I'm Mike right now, I like I like him approaching by Greenhand. If it works out, it works out. If not, whatever, I'm building some meter. It's not a big deal. <laughs> There's no way you can win. The time is over. Mike Ross rocking back and forth in his chair, just convulsing with anger. I love that smile for Mike Ross because you yeah. know it's the most forced smile that you've ever seen. Yeah, so that's an issue, right? What? Yeah, because the fireball stays out there and it doesn't move. Usually when you see that EX screen hand, the fireball's moving past him. Right. But it just stays still. And so the invincibility frames wear off before oh, the fireball does. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, that's, that's really hard for grapplers to get around. Nice punish there from Flo. And his flow going to live up to his claims that Mike Ross is free. He said it'd be really easy. Quote, really easy. He didn't even, oh, finally we get Marduk out. And see if Keith can do any better. I don't know. Smart move by Flo to put Jin back in. Jin has been the problem here for Keith. Well, just like that. All right, good stuff. Now he's got Marduk in. Oh, oh Flo no. knew it. Read it. Mike Ross going for a lot of okie dokes here. It's not paying off. That one paid off, but Roof is still with a lot of his health. Nice, just caught him low. Is he gonna keep Marduk in? Oh, smart. Well, oh, maybe not smart. I thought that, that would be safe, and maybe so did Mike, but no, it's not. And this is gonna be good damage here. Run a commercial, AJ. Yeah, it's still going. Boom, he got hit. Now again, he's got him make it happen basically immediately. Get in there, get in there. You, you roll forward, you gotta do it. You only got nine seconds left. You're so dead. <laughs> You're so dead. This this game is over. This game is over. You got nothing that you can do. It's the Dr. Doom situation. This game <laughs> is over. Oh, Mike Ross is just walking away right now. Mike Ross is just walking away right now. Meanwhile, Flo. Loving every second. Yeah, he's just laughing, but you know, deep down inside, he's like, yeah. Hold that. <laughs> yeah, what can you do? Oh hey, I'm, that, that's one of the problems with playing slow characters like that. If, if you get down to a situation where there's 20, 15 to 20 seconds left, and it's a mobile character with a life lead against a slow character without a life lead, you can pretty much kiss it goodbye. Yep. You can pretty much kiss it goodbye. And we saw that twice in that one set. I mean, literally, Flo could have just, like, jumped backwards in the corner all day. Even if you got anti-air, that grab Whatever. takes a long time. Yeah, that grab takes, know. like, two seconds to complete until you hit, can hit the opponent again. Yep. Don't forget, if you you can subscribe to Level Up Live uh, for two ninety nine a month. And supporters uh, will get a supporter badge appended to the username. You'll also have a chance to win a trading session with 
Alex Vai. You will also be automatically entered into monthly subscriber only giveaways and you get access to the perfect Alex Vai face and table flip emoticons. So support Level Up Live. These guys are definitely all hard workers taking a lot of their own time to do this work. So please yep. support them with the subscriber option. So we got Flo sticking around. He's going to play against the person who sent him to losers. Oh, yeah. Go Team Lago. Yeah, we shouted them out yesterday on our own show, which you can find at twitch.tv slash TV. We really got to make a slide. <laughs> I don't know why we keep forgetting to do that. Actually, that's a good point. That's that's my responsibility. I, I'm I'm the I'm the art department, yeah, that's right? True, yeah. So I, I gotta do that. You gotta do that. You're the legal department. I'm the art yeah, department. Yeah, I, I, so. I'll take care of law and business, man. You you take care of the technology and all right, art. All right, that's my bad. I, I gotta get there. Yeah, I get gotta in get that. there. Get I gotta do that. So. So this is a rematch from earlier. It's the salty run back between E.G. Weintraub, A.K.A. Flo, and the man who beat him, Snake Eyes. P.X.G. Snake Eyes, in fact. Who played Geef Kazuya and didn't really seem to run into the same kind of troubles that Mike did. I almost feel like Mike would have been better served if he had stuck with Geef more. I don't really like Marduk that much. You don't like Marduk? I feel that like, much? He, like he's got some fun mix ups up close, but like I like Geef's normals a lot better, and I feel like the grappling is not that great in this game. It's more about the footsies. I think it's really interesting right now that Snake Eyes has chosen to go with uh, Zangief. First this is this Jin. is the same exact lineup that he had when he sent Flo to losers. So I think that it's smart for him to stick to the hmm. same okay. uh, same exact team. How did he get in through the fireball pressure? You, you know, I mean, you know Snake Eyes. He's a very patient player, right. and he knows a lot about the game engine. Oh, already goes right back into Kazuya. Right. Oh, back enough to where he could have done yeah. the overhead, but Flo was in the air. That's one of the things that you can do against Kazuya is just kind of neutral jump at that range or back jump if you're back to the corner like that. Right. Nice, caught him with the cross up. So good damage for Flo. Is he close enough? He is. Just got to the corner for that. Spinning that bar to keep the combo up. Almost had a pseudo infinite there. <laughs> nice, here comes, he, is he gonna be able to finish him off? Oh, he drops it. Oh, he's got him anyway. Flo takes in the first round. Geef went out immediately. He, his his Geef got in immediately. Right. But then got out immediately, and Kazuya was left, and Kazuya didn't do a very good job. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, what? Yeah. Strong, short, strong. Uh, good Believe stuff. it. Oh. So again, Geef out early after having put his opponent into the corner, and let's see if that does better for Snake Eyes this time. Oh, oh nice Link's overhead. Hit. Flo, Flo will always do that overhead into the stand jab just in case. I mean, even even if it's on block. Oh, nice punish. And this is almost exactly what we saw in the last round. Because did he really whip that throw there? That was the same setup from Street Fighter 4, and it no longer is, puts you at throw range. That's hilarious. Dude, they were overlapping each other. You couldn't even see Kazuya. Yeah, well, what are you going to do, man? Oh, it's a new game. Man. Oh, wow. Is this going to be enough to finish him off? He's gonna get one laser here for Zap. And that is enough to take it. I really want Snake Eyes to stick with Geef more. Yeah. If I were him, I would give up the potential damage of Kazuya sometimes and just stick with his Geef. Because his Geef has gotten in immediately and immediately pushed Flo to the corner both rounds so far. Yep. And that's exactly how, what, how it went when Snake Eyes sent Flo to losers as well. Yeah, I would like to see him combo his cross rush into the sweep instead yeah you know don't go for the launcher there oh here we go oh uh, he's doing it again hopefully it pays off this time it just hasn't been so far flo's done a really good job against kazuya which one's the father and which one's the son i, I have no idea are they father and son i heard that i don't know if that's true probably kazuya is the father Jin is the son okay. thanks shout out for to that important info yep is Hayachi the grandpa? Is that true? Okay. Man, I don't know any fighting game storylines. So again, Flo... Exactly the same thing. I, off a cliff, right? Yeah. 
All right, I'm just gonna get rid of that from my brain immediately. I delete think, it. Were you the one who Info about, about like, Hihachi and Kazuya I'm and I'm throw Jin, my son off it. a cliff, and if he gets back up, we're gonna like fight for like yeah. Somebody mentioned that. So look again, we have Snake Eyes Geef in the corner, doing a really really good job of, of putting his opponent in there and dealing damage. Look at that damage that that Zangief has already done. And he's already back in. Yep. I mean that's a, he's okay with that trade. I really don't want him to, to tag out. Nice juggle, nice catch. There you go. He kept, he kept Keith and he takes around. Jin and Oscar are cousins. Oh, how fascinating. What? I wasn't being. Nah, I was lying. It's super boring. Flo with the zoning. Charging up for the EX. And I like how Snake Eyes is approaching it. He's just being patient. Flo going for that stance just in case there's a jump. Flo doing a you know better job of not getting pushed to the corner immediately this time. He's all right. We're getting the whole family tree going on here. Whatever, folks. And you know what? Kuma is Hayachi's pet bear. Fact. Fact. Oh, okay. Flo's doing a much better job. That's gonna hit. But Flo's doing a much, much better job right now with Jin against Zangief. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I still think Zangief is still doing a better oh, job. Of course. I totally agree. Yeah. And it's really interesting because Jin can actually, he has three different ways he can use that EX fireball. Right. He can place it in three different combinations. Okay. I mean, I, I'm fine with that change. Yeah. That one was necessary. He had to save his life. Nice right. empty jump, but too far for that to reach. And punished on the whiff jump. He's gonna bring Geef back in, which, you know what? Even though he gave up some of his red life, I think that's smart. Again, Geef has done so much better oh, for him. Oh, see, there's that advantage that he's got now. Wasn't able to do that, but oh, interrupted the overhead. Good stuff. Watch out for the clock. Watch, okay, so it started at 13. Okay, now it's at seven. Oh, and he's gonna get it, he wow, takes it. he actually got it, and Flo kind of leans back and thinks he's a, is a fool. Flo, I mean, I guess he had to go in no matter what. Right, oh yeah. even if he had tagged, he would have taken too much damage, so he had to try to land the next hit and uh, get so taken out. So, largely on the strength of Geef, Snake Eyes taking that second game, and it's now 1-1. Nice lariat there from Snake Eyes after rolling forward. Nose Flo likes to do that little straight up jump, and that's so far. Yeah, light punch green, uh, SPD, pretty strong nowadays. Nice counter sweep. Oh, roll forward through that fireball. Yeah, no jumping away from that. <laughs> Oh, oh, good read or good, good or good vision, maybe maybe reaction. Nice, I like that sequence. That Again, that's so, so much safe. Yeah, it's minus four, so not that bad. Ooh, caught him. Got to be careful over here, Zangief player, because the SPDs just aren't as fast as they used to be. Flo so dealing some damage now in the corner, but still, Snake Eyes with the life advantage. Oh, punishable. That's gotta be punishable, oh, yeah. I, See, wow, dash forward and then sweep? That's impressive. Yeah. That, and smart sweep, I guess, because it let him out of the corner. Flo getting close. I don't think he's gonna take it on this combo. No, he's not, so he's gonna need one more opening. Oh, finally. You know what? Uh, that's fine. Yeah. I think that's a smart tag. He had to get out of there. 22 seconds. Oh, and he got it! He just was barely away. From that, from that orb, but he's looking for sweep, but that's could have oh. been punished. And Flo, that could have been punished. Flo could have got a big combo there too, and he drops that combo. Yeah, so he's now mad. he's mad at himself. You can see. All right. So like we said, it's been such a difference when he's stuck with Zangief. Yeah. It's made such a huge difference in these fights. Nice oh, jump. Nice snake eyes, keeping his opponent cornered. Oh, nice. Okay. Preemptive low short there. And glams the cross up. Still close enough to get the full corner combo. Now, oh, he actually crossed up that time. Ooh, wow. Okay. He's Here comes some, Jin. He's going to come right back into. It's interesting. You know, he looks like he wants to stick with Rufus rather than Jin here. And he's going to go to match point. Snake Eyes kind of putting his hands up in the air like, I don't really know what to do. All right. Match point. Match point for Flo. So I feel like they both adapted here. They're both trying to stick with maybe the different character than they were starting out wanting to stick with. Nice little combo there. And again, 
Ford, Lariat, Ford rolling the Lariat has worked pretty well for Snake Eyes because he knows Flo likes to jump straight up there. Right. Slowly, Snake Eyes trying to push Flo towards the corner. Oh, got oh. him out of the air, but didn't get the combo. Wow, did he just avoid a low attack with that? Uh, yeah, it has invincible startup on that. Wow. Snake Eyes getting close to the end. Oh, very, what very a great smart. read. That could be it, and Flo takes it. Two to one over Snake Eyes. Geef never got out, so he stuck with Geef there. And it didn't pay off yeah. after having taken the second game because of Geef. Well, you can't really blame him what happened there because, you know. That was loser semis. It, it didn't look like his character was going to die that quickly. So he probably felt like he had a lot of opportunity to just tag him out and never really got the chance. So Right. Uh, apparently we do. Joe Shine, the second. Right, okay, sure. What's going on? Oh, James has to go play some Super Turbo. That's what he gets for entering all three tournaments today. James Chen, still playing video games. Still playing video games. Yep, that's right. So we got Losers Finals coming up. It's the battle of the recently acquired housemates. So Justin Wong and Flo just moved into a new house in this area not too long ago, just literally a few days ago. And so they have actually been playing each other a ton over the last couple of days. They both uh, you know, have Rufus on their teams, and they both understand really, really well how their respective characters work, having just trained so much together in the early parts of this game. So Justin's gonna be starting Rufus here. We've got Rufus Chun, we got Jin Rufus. Definitely very different takes. It's sort of like Marvel in that having you know different character on your team can really change the way your point character plays. Flo getting the anti-air. And looking for roll right there. That's a really uh, strong spot for Jin to control on roll because of the new to jump around us is so ambiguous. Didn't pay off. Now Justin with the office or offense. <laughs> trying to talk too fast. Misses his links. And he backs off to zoning range. But Flo is pretty comfortable at zoning range. It's definitely an unusual match for fireball characters because the ball just ends up behind other projectiles. But Justin, oh, way too far away to get that corner combo. I know Flo wants to get his Jin out of there. And looks like he was willing to accept the damage on this three fierce combo. About half life. Oh, maybe more. Strong start from Justin. Meanwhile, Jin getting some life back. Oh, Justin already has all of his anti-airs picked out. Make sure that he keeps the pressure on. Oh, no anti-air from, uh, from Rufus for Flo. And he might come to regret that. You see, Justin looks like he's already starting to go into keep away mo. Oh, no, there was a one hit that ends up taking it for him. And Flo looking up to the stars. Again, this is Losers Finals. We got a three out of five set. Justin getting the punish. You gotta punish that really, really quickly. It does recover fast. Justin knows, like I said, he has a lot of familiarity against both Jin and Rufus in this game. Having played against Flo specifically. Got his opponent now. In the corner does Flo. Oh, Justin getting his links this time. And he is way away from the corner. Got a Rufus mirror. Rufus definitely with better footsie normals than he had in Street Fighter 4. But still wants to be on offense if he can. Flo looking good. Oh no, gives up some damage. And Justin kind of screwing up on his setup right there. I don't know if that was supposed to be a combo or a reset. But neither one worked out. Oh no! Who? Who was it? It looks like it was Justin because this is player one pause. So Justin accidentally with the with the the home, I guess, like a scrub. And I guess they're deciding what to do. Typically, it's the choice of the player who did not press start or home to decide whether to take that round. Hmm. Oh, Snake Eyes did it with his controller. Oh, oh, that totally changes things. So it was the controller. 
Oh, no, it was a wired controller. Oh, maybe, I guess not. It wasn't Snake Eyes after all. Fanatic might have been it. I don't know. We're going to look for the culprit here. <laughs> look at somebody to point fingers at. Wow, Mike is giving the stink eye to flow. What's up, Mike Ross? And Fnatic says he actually turned his controller off and it's... Oh, really? Oh, the light was on, huh? All right, well, uh, I guess... I guess it was him. I guess it was Fnatic. That sucks. <laughs> well, alright, so I guess we're just gonna go back into it. It was the fault of neither player. So they're just gonna let it rock. Justin's Pink Rufus doing some damage. Which is starting to become important, starting to look for timeout time. Justin with the jump toward this time. And there it is, sticking out that stamp fierce. He knew that flow had to start getting crazy and start really looking for some opening. So when your opponent is like that, you know, you can stick stuff in their face and make them run into things that they otherwise wouldn't run into. Desperation does things. Game one going to Justin. He's trying to get back to grand finals with her face against the man who beat him in winners, Mr. Alex Valle. Flow with the high. Dude. One of the best characters in TV history, Tobias Funke. So good. Right? Am I right? Arrested development, dude. The world's first analrapist. <laughs> yeah, he was the never dude. Yeah. Alright, anyways. I like Flo faking it there. He faked the fireball to set out on top of Rufus to maybe chip him to death. He got the backdash, but Justin smoked it out. And that allows all this pressure. Oh, there you go. Alpha counter right in the tag. And Justin with that down toward light has been so consistent in the anti-airs. Oh, a little bit too far to link the jab. And that means that Jin can come back in, maybe do some damage for him. Shun's mobility coming into play right there, walking under Jin Jump Brownhouse. But Flo still has the life. Remember, it's both characters combined, their total life combined when it comes to timeout land. Oh, that might not come in now. Boom! Justin takes the round. They look so excited. Stoked! Flo trying to get some combos going, but not quite at it. And that means Justin Rufus still putting on the pressure, making sure he takes control after the spin with the crouching jab. That allows this situation where he has the combo happening. He's got his opponent in the corner. Jin still cornered, trying to set out the safe jump. Getting in, gets some nice damage, especially once Rufus comes in here. But as Rufus hasn't really worked out that well against Chun, Chun's down toward light kick has been so good against him. Pink Rufus Justin putting on that pressure in the corner. Oh, but Flo had a chance. This time he takes the chance. Makes the count with Jin. And coming up for the throw. Now, Flo has to work from the corner. Oh man, Justin picks him out of the air. Could have gone for the kill, not quite. It's the next mix up though. Flo has got to get his Jin out of there. And Justin knows it. Look at the range that Justin has picked. Oh, it's a happy birthday. Jin gets picked up too, and that means he dies. Game two goes to Justin Wong, threatening to take losers finals in a 3-0 sweep. And the two players, very good friends, roommates now, housemates I should say. And they have a ton of experience against each other, not just now, they've been playing each other ever since they both moved to LA. But especially of late, and especially in this game, they know each other's tricks. Okay, Rufus doing some damage down the corner against Justin's Rufus, who just has a bar, but manages to roll out and spends the bar but doesn't get the light kick follow-up, and that means that Flo got a free punish for the round. Oh yes, Brazil. Nice, he's got his punish. Wow, maybe a little bit out of range there, though. And now Justin's gonna bring in Chun-Li, deal some damage. I really like his more offensive Chun-Li style. 
He's not just trying to play her like a zoner. He, he can come in every now and then. Flo finding the opening. Oh man, great block by Justin. It was a perfect spot for Flo's Rufus to pick, but Justin just had the block correct. Rufus coming back in. Ooh, that was real weird looking right there. <laughs> it's real weird looking. Flo with the pressure, yellow Rufus. Trying not to go down the 3-0 sweep. Oh, Crouching Fish punishes, uh, punishes Crouching Fish now it is? That's pretty cool. Flo still doing some damage. Is going to end with him having the corner situation if he wants it. I guess he gave it up in favor of damage, but... Okay, he gets out in any case. That could have been bad for him. Two games to one. Flo not dead yet. Justin now with the pressure. He's already in on Jin. Definitely where he wants to be. Oh, man, playing those games. And you see, he was waiting there just to see whether there was a roll. He saw there was not a roll. He came in for the pressure, and he might get the round. Yes, he's on match round. <laughs> Whatever. Flo already seen that he can punish that. Oh, great block by Justin. But Flo coming in anyway. Backing off and looking for the roll, but he had a perfect range.